A blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, the living God, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have given us through the Holy Spirit the consolation of the truth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word who came to lead us to the more abundant life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. Grief is stricken in spirit. I, Tobit, groaned and wept aloud. Then with sobs, I began to pray. You are righteous, O Lord, and all your deeds are just. All your ways are mercy and truth. You are the judge of the world. And now, O Lord, may you be mindful of me and look with favor upon me. Punish me not for my sins, nor for my inadvertent offenses, nor for those of my ancestors. We sinned against you and disobeyed your commandments. So you handed us over to plundering, exile, and death, till you made us the talk and reproach of all the nations among whom you had dispersed us. Yes, your judgments are many and true in dealing with me as my sins and those of my ancestors deserve. For we have not kept your commandments nor have we trodden the paths of truth before you. So now, deal with me as you please, and command my life breath to be taken from me, that I may go from the face of the earth into dust. It is better for me to die than to live, because I have heard insulting calumnies 
and I am overwhelmed with grief. Lord, command me to be delivered from such anguish. Let me go to the everlasting abode. Lord, refuse me not, for it is better for me to die than to endure so much misery in life and to hear these insults. On the same day at Ekbatana in Media, it so happened that Raguel's daughter Sarah also had to listen to abuse from one of her father's maids. For she had been married to seven husbands, but the wicked demon Asmodeus killed them off before they could have intercourse with her as it is prescribed for wives. So the maid said to her, You are the one who strangles your husbands. Look at you. You have already been married seven times, but you have had no joy with any of your husbands. Why do you beat us? Is it on account of your seven husbands because they are dead? May we never see a son or daughter of yours. The girl was deeply saddened that day, and she went into an upper chamber of her house where she planned to hang herself. But she reconsidered, saying to herself, No, people would level this insult against my father. You had only one beloved daughter, but she hanged herself because of ill fortune. And thus would I cause my father in his old age to go down to the netherworld laden with sorrow. It is far better for me not to hang myself, but to beg the Lord to have me die, so that I need no longer live to hear such insults. At the time, then, she spread out her hands and facing the window, poured out her prayer. Blessed are you, O Lord, merciful God, and blessed is your holy and honorable name. Blessed are you in all your works forever. At that very time, the prayer of these two suppliants was heard in the glorious presence of Almighty God. So Raphael was sent to heal them both, to remove the cataracts from Tobit's eyes so that he might again see God's sunlight, and to marry Raguel's daughter Sarah to Tobit's son Tobiah, and then drive the wicked demon Asmodeus from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. In you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall be put to shame who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. To you, O Lord, my lip, my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, the lip, my soul. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, the lift my soul. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Just be long. 
your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord some of the sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to jesus put this question to him saying teacher moses wrote for us if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother now there were seven brothers. The first married the woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise, and the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. They are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. We are taught a very important lesson regarding our spiritual life. The way we relate to God, the way we relate to others, the way we relate to the world. Often, we are greatly misled. Because we already have preconceived notions. We have biases, we have prejudices. We have our own worldview shaped since we were children, maybe even from our mother's wombs. We have our own framework for judging things. And psychologists say that we are averse to changing our frameworks. It's called confirmation bias. So we only look for things that will confirm our own frameworks, our own biases, our own worldview, our own system of values. Very important thing to know. So in the gospel today, Sadducees, what's their framework? No resurrection. What's their confirmation bias? They only got from scriptures what confirms their disbelief that people will rise from the dead. So sinabi nila sa Panginoon to embarrass him. Okay. Woman, nasa first reading yan eh, chapter 3 ng The Book of Tubi. May babae, kinasal, pinapatay ng demonyo yung kanyang mga husbands. The wicked demon Asmodeus killed them all until all seven died and the woman sabi ng mga Sadducees, Kalaban ng mga Pharisees sila so during the time of Jesus. Sabi ng mga Sadducees, oh, paano yan? Sino ngayon ang magiging asawa niyan pag uh, may resurrection? So sabi ni Jesus, you are, you are misled. Hindi ninyo alam yung kabuuan ng scriptures. Kasi yung last sentence, inalis ang pagkabulag ni Tubit, 
pinakasal. Si Raquel, yung may seven husbands na anak ni Sarah, pinakasal kay Tubaya, anak ni Tubit. And then, Raphael, the angel Raphael, also drove the wicked demon Asmodeus from her. So, nakalimutan na ng mga Sadducees yan. Yun lang unang parte. Ang kanila. Maraming ganyan ang pagtingin sa Biblia eh. Confirmation bias. Mahalaga para sa ating spiritual life. Sa ating buhay ngayon. Maski yung pinakamatalinong tao, parang si Albert Einstein ata yun eh. Sinulat niya, special theory of relativity, general theory of relativity, alam ng lahat, yung E equals MC squared, mula dyan, nagkaroon ng atomic bomb, ang daming libu-libu ang namatay sa Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Dahil sa ganyang theory. So, ginamit ng isang pare, taga Belgium, si Father George Lemaitre. Ang theory of relativity. Magaling sa mathematics yun si Father George. Eh. Pumunta siya kay Einstein. Sabi niya, Sir, pag ginamit yung theory ninyo, hindi pala stable ang universe, hindi static ang universe, hindi eternal ang universe, may pinagmulan pala, dyan yung idea ng Big Bang eh. Eh, hindi nagustuhan na Einstein, sabi niya yung mathematics mo, abominable. Pero, napatunayan, natama si Father George Lemaitre nung makita sa Hubble Telescope na yung galaxies are moving away from each other. So there must have been a time when they were close together at sabi ni Father George Lemaitre, may singularity. Smaller than an atom, sumabog yan. Ngayon alam nila kung kailan nangyari yon because of their mathematical calculations. 13.785 billion years ago, may Big Bang, simula ng lahat na ito. Ayaw ni Einstein paniwalaan hanggang may Patotoo, na scientific din, kinain ni Einstein yung kaniyang salita at apologizing to Father George Lemaitre. Pangalawa, si Einstein ulit. Natuklasan sa quantum physics na unpredictable ang ang elektron. Maganda pakinggan yung sabi ni Werner Heisenberg eh. Un Sicherheits Prinzip sa German. Uncertainty Principle. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Pag alam mo kung nasaan yung elektron, hindi mo alam kung saan pupunta yan, hindi mo alam ang velocity. Kung alam mo rin ang velocity, hindi mo alam ang posisyon kung nasaan yung elektron. Sabi ni Einstein, God does not play dice with universe. Anong confirmation bias ni Einstein? Una, that the universe is static. Nadaya pa nga si Einstein eh. Nilagyan niya ng uh, cosmological constant para mapatunayan na simula, simula pa, ganyan na itong universe. Hindi nagbabago yan. Sabi ni George Lemaitre, hindi, sumabog po yan. Pangalawang confirmation bias ni Einstein na everything can be predicted, gamitan mo lang ng mathematics, gamitan mo ng calculus, gamitan mo ng algorithm. Mapipredict mo lahat yan. Eh si Werner Heisenberg na sabi, hindi. At the core of reality is uncertainty, unpredictability. Sabi ni Einstein, God does not play dice with the universe. So balik tayo sa God. Ano ang God ni Einstein? Ang God ni Einstein is the God of Baruch Spinoza, 17th century philosopher. Ang Diyos niya, yung parang intellect na alam niya lahat ang nangyayari, eternal siya. Pero it's not the God of love. Parang machine ang kanilang God. Na para bang sinimulan lang niya lahat ito kasi kailangan mapaliwanag mo kung bakit, why is there something rather than nothing eh. So may Diyos sila, parang intellect lang, walang feelings, hindi tayo mahal. At itong Diyos na ito, gumawa ng mga batas ng kalikasan at pag nalaman mo yung batas ng kalikasan na yan, pipredict mo na lahat. Noong 
Sinabi ng quantum physics, hindi totoo yan. Hindi nakapaniwala si Einstein. Confirmation bias. Kagaya noong mga sadusis na hindi yung buong kwento ang kanilang sinabi. Yun lang bahagi na makapagpatotoo nung kanilang confirmation bias na walang resurrection. Sa buhay natin, ganyan din tayo. Kaya sinasabing, love is blind. Hindi nakikita yung, ang nakikita lang na magandang lalaki. Tapos sasabihan mo, drug addict yan eh. Tuloy pa rin siya. Pagkatapos, pag binugbog na, babalik, magpapakounseling. Confirmation bias. Gusto lang natin yung umaakma sa sarili nating framework. Kaya nahirapan tayo sa spirituality. Yung mga nagpo-post. Confirmation bias din. Tinitignan ko. May conspiracy theory na yung vaccine, binabago dyan ang mRNA. Yung, yung DNA mo para ma... Yung iba nagsasabi magiging buhaya na rin daw tayo. Anong patutuo niyan? Sino ang nagsabi niyan? Ah, basta, maniwala ako dyan. Papost na niya yan. Ang dami ng followers niya. Confirmation bias leads us to falsehood. Nababag, na mamali ang ating pakikitungo sa, sa, sa ibang tao, sa Diyos. Gaya ng mga sadusis. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, mali ang inyong confirmation bias eh. Kasi hindi naman yan ganun pa rin parang yung ating mga ninuno. May libingan dyan sa may Santa Ana Church yung before the Spaniards came. Ang ating mga ninuno, pag magsasaka ka, nilalagay nila yung gamit mo sa pagsasaka. Pag nangangaso ka, pag hunter ka, lalagay nila yung pana mo at saka ano. Kasi sa tingin nila, ganun pa rin ang buhay mo dito sa degdeg, ganun pa rin ang buhay mo doon sa kabila. Sabi ni Jesus, hindi. They neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. Parang mali ang kanilang pagtingin sa Diyos. Kasi sabi ni Jesus, ang Diyos, He's the God of life. He's the living God. Basahin ninyo sa sinulat ni Moises. I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. That's the God that we believe in. Huwag kang maniwala doon sa Diyos na ano, God of prosperity. Na pag nag-resari ka, nag ka, pag nag forward ka ng mga chain letter, wala nang mga masamang mangyayari sa'yo. That's not the kind of God that we believe in. Do you believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? He is the God of St. Peter, of St. John, and St. James. He is also the God of St. Father Pio, St. Mother, uh, Mother Teresa, and St. Pope John Paul II. The God of life. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, I have come that they might have life. Tayo yan. And have it more abundantly. Yung ganap na buhay the more abundant life. Kung tama ang pagtingin mo sa Diyos. Kaya sigurahin natin ngayon na tama. Hindi parang ATM ang Diyos na maglalagay ka ng rosary, 2,000 rosaries pa minsan, may nobena ka na garoon, nagbisita iglesia ka. Pagkatapos, para ka nang nagdeposito. Punta ka sa Diyos. Ito yung aking card. Ito yung aking pin. Pag pindot mo, lalabas na yung iyong hinihingi sa Diyos. Confirmation bias yan. Mali ang pagtingin mong Diyos na parang ATM, na parang makina. Tapos, pag hindi lumabas yung hiniling mo sa iyong nobena at saka rosary at saka chain letter, nagagalit ka. Hahanap ka na ng ibang pastor. Hahanap ka ng ibang sekta. Tiyakin natin, yun ang sinasabi sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. Tiyakin natin na yung ating Diyos na sinasamba ay yung Diyos ng mga buhay. Panalangin natin sa misang ito. Kasi madali tayong mabulagan sa ating sarili. Kung ano yung mga itinuro sa atin ng ating mga magulang, ng ating mga tiya at lolo at lula, ng mga pamahiin, dala-dala pa rin natin ngayon. Kaya may confirmation bias tayo. Kailangan lilinisin yan. Kaya kailangan, sabi ng mga Greeks, know yourself. 
know your worldview, know your framework, know your system of values, know your prejudices, know your confirmation bias para tuwid ang landas na tatahakin mo patungo sa Diyos. Let us pray during this Mass that we will encounter personal encounter with the God of life, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of life, the God of St. Peter, the God of St. John, the God of St. James, the God of St. Father Pio, the God of Mother Teresa, the God of St. John Paul II, the God of that we are worshiping as we celebrate the Eucharist today. <clears throat> Prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to the God of the living, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, so that he can set free from confirmation bias, from foolish doubt or resistation, our hearts towards the truth. Let our response be, God of the living, hear us. God of the living, hear us. That the church may continually preach the good news of the resurrection and the life to come. We pray. God of the living, hear us that in our daily lives we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair we pray god of the living hear us that christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances but people with a heart who do what they have to do because they are god's children we pray God of the living, hear us. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. We pray. God of the living, hear us. We pray for the dead and for those who mourn their loss. May the resurrection of Jesus bring them hope and comfort in their grief. We pray. God of the living, hear us. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray. God of the living, hear us. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of the living, to whom all are in fact alive, grant the petitions we bring before you today, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Aming hatid, alay na ito, ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay Mula sa amin, buong puso namin Hihintayin, pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid, alay na ito Ang tinapay na nangula sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa'yo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin 
ang munting alay mula sa amin. Buong puso namin hihintayin pagpapala na amin. Pagpapala na aming hiling Pagpapala na aming hiling Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed the human being in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you to your mighty works to Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Spirit, come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for men, to that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy Catholic apostolic faith. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Peter, James, and John, with Saint Father Pio, Saint Mother Teresa, and Saint Pope John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father, the God of the living, in the words Jesus, his Son, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. sins of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace 
this is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Govern by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may marry to enter the kingdom of heaven to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. <clears throat> we thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health and mind and body, strength and their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinadimitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the God of the living. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>
measure.